Today we want to show you how to service the VS4 smart valve. In Texas you have big oil wells, here we have real big grasshoppers. Here we are on the Gold Coast, beautiful sunny day in the middle of winter. The tools we need for this job, a bucket, a spare screen and a 17mm spanner to undo the nuts and a pair of pliers. That's it. Before opening the valve, release the internal pressure. The lids can now be removed using the 17mm crank spanner and the lids can be... This exposes the filter for removal. Remove the dirty screen. See we've got a good build up of fat on there but basically pretty clear on the inside. Put that to one side and we'll lift out the float assembly. This is very common of a very fouled up screen on a fatty site. You notice the compressed air has been in this area. The fat has built up on the screen and here where the water and air has been traversing across into the secondary chamber, the screen is relatively clean. You'll notice internally the screen is open. That means the solids have been ejected back to the main. Inside it's got a bit of muck in there but there's nothing too bad. Give that a quick, just a quick brush. Quick brush on the inside. That's pretty good. We can just wait and put that back together again. Check these O-rings, the O-rings are all good in place. Simply now we use the exchange screen, push that into the and put the flows in. Uh, rinse off just to make sure we've got no grit anywhere. And then we will replace two lids. Now all we need to do is tighten the bolts and we're all, we're finished. Now we just tighten the 10 mil nuts down, nuts and bolts down. Doesn't need to be too much pressure on these. And of course before we put these bolts in we made sure there was some anti-seas on the threads. Uh, and we're getting close to finishing this job now. Uh, you ready? Okay. We close the drain valve and open the reverse, isn't it? It's all done.